Well, guys, before police discovered Audra Willis's body this weekend, there was Key Thompson and Al Gorman, both beaten to death in 2014. Community leaders took action to help homeless Native Americans then. Willis's death could now spark those efforts again. The community needs to react and, and not tolerate this kind of behavior. It makes Linda Stone sick just thinking about it. A homeless Native American woman decapitated, her body found in an arroyo. Two people spotted the body on Saturday while walking along this Four Hills neighborhood trail. It's since been gated off and has this private property, no trespassing sign. Albuquerque police say her name was Audra Willis. She was 39 years old and originally from Tahajali, a reservation just west of Albuquerque. But court records show Willis listed this as her most recent address, a clinic in southeast Albuquerque that provides medical, dental, behavioral health and traditional healing services to Native Americans and other underserved communities. Stone is the clinic's CEO. Willis's death reminds Stone of this 2014 case. Al Gorman and Key Thompson, both homeless and Navajo, murdered by teenagers while they slept in an Albuquerque field. I don't think this should happen to anybody. And uh, I really believe that uh, something needs to be done. After their deaths, the city created the Native American Homelessness Task Force. It recommended several ways to eliminate threats Native Americans face on the streets. Stone hopes those efforts are reignited because Willis's death proves we could do a lot more. Native Americans experience disproportionate rates of poverty, violence and behavioral health issues. A city spokeswoman tonight says the task force has been inactive for a while now, but Mayor Keller is committed to seeing it up and running again. Megan Cruz, KOAT Action 7 News.